5.3 storage tanks, 5.3.1 scope. The section provides a general background and information on petroleum fuel storage tanks, provides a description of common organizational level maintenance troubleshooting associated with the equipment. It is intended to be used in conjunction with the detailed technical information containing the manuals, operation, and instruction. The LPG tanks are unified fire pressure vessels, as such as inspection repairs relating to their fall under the contingency of the Navy Flak ML324 inspection certification of boilers on fire pressure vessels and inspection of certification, or sorry, and one back once again, Navy Flak M0324 inspection of certification of boilers on fire pressure vessels recommendation and guidance in the following subsection should be used to form basis and tailored maintenance plan for these items at your installation. Additional information regarding the petroleum storage tanks can be found in the following references. Military Handbook 1022 1, Petroleum Fuel Facilities, Navy Flak ML306 Cathoid Protection, um, Navy Flak ML37 Corrosion Control, Military Standard 4, 5, 457A Frequency Inspection Cleaning of the Petroleum Fueling Operation Storage Tanks, Navy Flak NFG 132219 Cleaning and Petroleum Storage Tanks, API RP2 2015 Cleaning Petroleum Storage Tanks, API 2015A Glider Controlling Lead hor uh, Glider Controlling the Lead or Lead hor Hazard Associated with the Tank Entry Cleaning, 5.3.2 Major Safety Concerns Petroleum Storage Tanks can be safely cleaned, maintained, filing pro first procedures, and acting adequate safety. Precautions without the consent and application of safeguard injury, death, or property damage will be re will result in fire explosion. Uh, or sorry, without constant application of the safeguard injury, death, or property damage will result from fire explosion, ex ex oxygen deficiency, and pressure from the toxic material. No tank should ever be entered in um, properly uh, until it is properly certified gas-free, adequate breathing apparatus is approved. And fiber 3.2.1 fire explosion, fuel, air, and heat. At the he must be all present in the fire explosion to the occur further than a mixture of hydrocarbons air and then only ignited for the fuel air fuel to air ratio within the explosive range refer to section 132 for more detailed information preventing petroleum fires 5.3.2 oxygen deficiency of petroleum storage tanks usually oxygen deficiency due to the placement of air to the hydrocarbon vapors therefore no one should enter into the petroleum storage tanks without wearing approved air supply appro appro apparatus unless the tank is most ventilated to meet the air oxygen continent standards the api rp rp 2015 and other standards may as may be specified 5.2.5 or sorry 53.23 toxic material section 124 and this manual describes harmful effects of various petroleum products and fuel additives 53.3 tank cleaning 53.3 and objective storage tanks must be cleaned periodically in order to what and, sorry semicolon prevent double semicolon prevent fuel contamination from dirt rust scale sludge bacteria deteriorated tank linings and other form matters of the may accumulate in the tank prepare the tank for change in product and make the tank of the physical entry of the personal inspection of the repair and alteration make the tank safe for the hot work such as welding and burning prepare the interior surface of the tank protective coating 5.3.3 the comprehensive for uh, sorry for quiet Frequency of cleaning petroleum storage that should be cleaned often is necessary to maintain required product and quality to determine the routine sampling of exams and procedures and additional tanking should be cleaned as often as needed. Operational demands is repair and alteration of product changes. 5.3.3 um, pre preparation of the tank cleaning. The first step of the preparing petroleum sta storage tanks is cleaning. It is the test to see the sludge and to see the hazardous waste as well. Allows implementation of the product cleaning and procedures for, the, for all, all the, the type of sludge present. Present, present next plumb. Pump is out of the, out as, as much as the fuel possible. Existing tin stalled pumps and the remaining fuel will be removed and using portable pumps. All pumps must shouldn't be air operated during diaphragm types of the exhausting outside of the tank. Electrical gas driven engines must be used and they should be located at least 50 feet upwinded air exposed. A manhole electrical connection should be made or using an explosion proof hookups. Filing the removal of the fuel of all tank valves. The connection should be removed. All flanges should be flanked off. But then Sure, no vapor fuel introduced into the tank while personnel are in or around the tank. On, on our underground, the piping, etc., etc., may be buried and closed off, offline pipes or, or sorry, offline lines nearest the exposed connection to the API. Our RPI 215B cleaning open top and covered floating roof tanks provided additional guidance of the preparing floating a roof tank for the cleaning before being in the vapor free tank. One last physical inspection of the work area should be made and by the safety tank crew supervisors 
This inspection ensures all preparation have been properly made, all required and equipment protective equipment of the on or on the job working order. All personnel have been properly instructed. All hazards and identified appropriate safety precautions have been taken. 5.3.3.4 of the barrier vapor free tanking. After removing all the liquid without physical entering the tank, the next step is to remove vapor of the tank. Three basic methods are for available free of the free of the tank hy hydrocarbons vapors, mechanical ventilation, steam ventilation, and natural ventilation. Mechanical ventilation is the safest three of the methods. It uses equipment for the educator of the fans. It draws vapors through the two main ways of the force air into the tank through the bottom way. Bottom way. Steam ventilation is accomplished in the pumping of the high temperature of steam in the tank. This effective ventilation method is a serious limitation, including the opera general static electricity forming the vacuum, vacuum from the steam condensation. And being relative to slow process, natural natural ventilation simply consists of opening all main, main ways, hatches, and letting the air out of the process aided in wind sail directly air into the outside of the manholes. The method is not practical undertaking under tanks and considering unsafe that the tanks having contained the gasoline JP4 it takes longer than other methods. 5335 gas free engineering all at once if the tank has been emptied and the fuel vapors and must be certified to safe personnel entry to the gas free engineer and ABC 56470. AASAFE010 prescribe the correct regulation procedure applicable confined and closed in the spe the space entry work as well as the minimum mandatory requirements establishing the administration of this gas free engine engineering program. These regulation procedures apply to all naval shore activities, military, civilian personnel, contractor personnel, storage tanks of the RP 215A, a guideline controlling and lead hazard, hazard of the associated tank entry and cleaning of the provided by the additional guidance of ensuring the tank is vapor free and safe for personnel entry. 5.3.3.6 Initial cleaning after the tank has been certified as gas free. Initial cleaning procedures of the outside of the tank can begin. The ventilation of the vapor testing of the gas for the free engineering and shall continue through the operation to detect dangerous concentration of the vape, vapor um, vapor release during the cleaning process if the concentration rises to 50% of low express host of cleaning operations and halted until the ventilation process removes the vapor and makes the area once again in the gas free tank cleaning is accomplished directing water hoses to stream through the open hatch and main ways remove the rust scale dirt and sludge in the fit fuel residue flush into the pump out of the connections uh, uh, or water draws off again in the recommended that the pumps is to draw off the force uh, draw off this water water and be a wa air driven and will dumb double diagram types and I'll be sure as the no no nozzle is air electrical bonded to the tank and 5.3.37 completing the tank cleaning following the initial cleaning process ventilation is continued to the vapor readings and the taken into determining the tank is in the entry Navy C560 or sorry 56470AA7AF or, or 7SAF010 APRM Oh yeah, sorry, the APR is 215 and 215A provide. Specific tra tank entry guidance and safety equipment requirements has generally worked on and per 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 permitted to enter the tank. Petroleum vapor concentrations are greater than 20% lower. Explosive limits within criteria criterion of the satisfied cleaning, cleaning crew can enter the tank beginning removing from remaining sludge and various con concentration rises to 20% of low explosive limits. Personnel must exist the tank immediately to or not re-enter until the air ed educators ed 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 educators have re restored to the their air to acceptable li limits. Routine cleaning, routine cleaning means the removal of all liquid sludge, dirt, and scales, rust from the interior surface of the tank of the GT. The degree of the cleaning is usually satisfactory. Protection product quality must change in the product service preparation of the tank inspection cold work. And if it's not applicable for preparation of the tank of the hot work and coating, the application of the tank is cleaned in the manner that was normally in vapor free, the most necessary leading for lead free. In preparation of the hot work and coating application for the tank and may meet safety surface quality standards for the hot work and coating application, it must be vapor free and loading lead free. For the refer to the API RP 215 or 21 for the information, all surfaces. Or to be treated should they be free to all traces of petroleum lead sludges and they must contain it of the work area. Wire brushing, scraping, and the brushing and blasting an area primary methods to achieve the result. The methods of cleaning must, uh, may also be necessary to prior to the tank previous contained of the petroleum product of the cleaning product services. 5338 three, Disposal of Sludge. Using, upon com completion of the tank cleaning of the process resulting in sludge sediment must be when analyzed determination. 
to determine the hazardous waste before it is removed and if the man, depending on construction of the tank sludge may be removed through one of the several minute methods. The simplest and most commonly method is to sweep, wash and sludge into the piles that, and shovel into the buckets removed in from the tank. And the sludge may be disposed in accordance with the applicable federal, state, local environmental regulations. Free lead, lead free sludge mode because the toxic lead in the absence of disposal problem is simplified by typical disposal methods including blending and with the own petroleum fuels, incineration and reprocessing. Leaded sludge. Leaded sludge is a hazardous waste and must be disposed in accordance with the Resource of the Conservation Recovery Act of RCRA. Um, 40 CFR Parts 260-8-270 Applicable State Local Regulations Chapter 3 provides additional information required procedures for handling hazardous waste and ABG is committed to ensure the product handling for this proposal and practices for all hazardous, be sure to address any question at EFD Environmental Banks. The 534 inspection tanks, petroleum storage tanks, are subject to external interior inspection to ensure that the fuel meets the appropriate quantity or the appropriate quality standards. Maximum internal interval between inspection should not exceed the schedule of the table of 531. The LPG tanks are on fire pressure vessels as such as inspection and repairs relating to all the fall under the contingency of Navy Flak ML324 inspection certification boilers on fire pressure vessels 5341. Methods of inspection. The methods used for inspection of atmospheric storage may be include the following visual inspection, examination, physical measures, hammers, testing, drilling sample, vacuum box, testing, pressure testing, ultrasonic, pictures, measures, x-rays. The most appropriate method of inspection for any particular tank will determine objectives of the inspection. Typical tank of materials and construction in 5342. Such safety precautions. The tank is to be internally inspection should be clean and gas-free, lead-free, and before inspection is not in all safety precautions, including the use of protective clothing, breathing, apparatus must be strictly followed in tank inspectors. Here is a chart that shows table 315 uh, table 3531 internal inspection frequencies. It gives you the type of service internal coating, the filter separation, and light circulating piping in the maximum inspection area, years and visuals and physical entries. You have operating storage in aviation fuels. You either have your no and yes coatings uh, an internal coating or not. You have a filter separation in light or or circulating pipeline or not, you have visual one, uh, visual one, two, or three, and a physical entry of two, three, four, and four, and six. Bulk storage aviation fuels, you either have an internal coating or not, a filter separation inlet coating or not, yes or no. A maximum in inspection inter in, in interval years three, four, four, six. All other petroleum fuel tanks is required indicated product sampling data. 5343 inspection tools the following are typical of the tools as equipped for the available for the complete tank inspection hand tools grand depth gauge drill ga drill bits hook gauge inside clippers inspector hammers knife level magnet notebook outside calipers paint pipe type plumb bob portable lights pipe plugs square square steel rule straight edge thin blade scrapers and wrenches special equipment camera ladders penetration die scaffold survey levers tra 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 trapping saw tramping saw Vacuum box tester and vacuum pump 5343, uh, sorry, 5344, external, external in, inspection, visual, visual inspection of the external surfaces of storage tanks that they associated with the equipment should be a continuous process. Personnel should be reported to be evidence, leakage, erosion, coating, deterioration, store, or structural damage, whether it is observed in routine ex external inspection, specifically internal, should be always employed all platforms, ladders, stairways, and should be inspected by the signs of corrosion, inadequate support, missile and rails, missile, missing bolts, rivets and defects and hazard notes should be marked and reported. External piping connections should be examined and leakage, misalignment, distortion, and distortion, other signs and stress of other pipe and nozzle flanges should be examined by the safe defects of tank sh shelves above ground. The tank should be inspected by the signs and leaking, cracks of distortion, buckling and or corrosion, fixed in the roofs and above ground tanks should be inspected by the corrosion of structural defects methods. You can be in visual inc include visual hammering, cutting and ultrasonic radiation inspection. Floating roofs should be inspected for the pools of liquid, liquid, liquid fuel and stainings of the evaporated fuel on the pan. The seals should be examined in the store. Where is the deterioration? All mechanical parts should be operated freely. The train should be tested to see that they are running freely. Control valves operating pressure properly. All accessory equipment should be self leveling affairs or, or stairs. And anti rotating devices should be inspected, tested, and proper operation. Always use combustible vapors indicating verified atmosphere and safe personnel entry. 5345 and internal inv inspection. Inspection in the storage tank 
and interior accomplice visual and physical entry inspection visual inspection are taken to the main way upper up opening ensuring the tank is safe entering and i.e. therefore no physical hazard present such as loose beams or physical innings and could fall in personnel below and tank is deemed in sp safe entry and personnel and may entry to the conduct specific inspection and testing procedure proper tank and procedure as detailed in 533 and should always be followed you know, tank shall be inspection of the interior of the tank shall be inspected on corrosion, physical damage, correcting particular att 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 attention should be pay paid to the tank of the shell tank of the bottom merger as highly susceptible to the corrosion of low spots of water should be collected, usually identified with the disclosure, disclosure co coloration of the bottom surface and the inner lo inter interior location of the least identified interior lo inspection shall be also inspected with the correct particular and near fittings of the heavy plate near the bottom magnetic particular inspection especially useful in locu locating suspected cracks the bottom inspection the tank bottom inspection is especially important because of the bottom inspection corrosion and other internal explosion ex external external sorry bottom inspection the top uh, sorry <laughs> bottom inspection the tank bottom inspection is especially important because of the bottoms are su subject to corrosion b both internal and external surfaces the interior of the tank should be inspected with corrosion particular intentional to the areas under the equipment and pipe sources of the tank are generally suspected of the heavy corrosion the bottom plane thickness of the measuring of the drilling hole to the measuring of the thickness within the gauge of the holes required and either filling it in either threading it threaded in plug and welding and patch over the w over the hole whether necessary equipment technicians are available ultrasonic radio graphic measures can be taken since the ultrasonic measurements may be made only more on one side of the tank and is accessible preferred method of inspection Inspecting the tanks. API RP2207. Preparing tank bottoms of the hot work and recognized standards of preparing the hot work on the tank bottoms is necessary to do not perform hot work on the tank bottom for any purpose unless underneath has been opened and drilled, or, or sorry, has been opened and tested vapor free for the test. Test for the vapor of the bottom drill and several rare, several holes in the bottom plates area in several air an area in question. Test each one of the individual combustible vapor indicator if one of the in tests must be frequent. 4% of the lower explosive limit, LEL, the lower explosive limit. The four, if any one, if one of the tests was more than 4% of the lower explosive limit, as might as well as happen within the leaky, leaky bottom, the material under the bottom must be cleared of the petroleum liquid vapors in the safe to work. It may be possible to purge the area of nitrogen and carbon dioxide or flush it out with water. If method is used there and is in the dangers that the vapor is liquid in the move in another place, a various application of the heat generates more vapors, creating the hazardous condition is more much safer to remove enough bottom and cold cutting and allow, allow completing the move enough of the bottom cold cutting to allow complete removal of any liquid vapor and air saturated material beneath the cover of the area of the clean drying testing again for the vapor before the state sta start in hot work and the tank construction of the concrete and line in the concrete organic lining inspection the most limited visual inspection of the cracks deterioration surface defects hammering scraping picking of the da wood damage or wood damage of the lining material must be avoided defects of this might might and indicated best by wet spots but Blisters and lamination should be marked and cut out and resurfaced. The high voltage lower current holiday detector may be used for inspecting pipeline coatings and it can be used in organic tank linings. Bottom testing: if the source tank is is or is suspected to have leaks, they be located on there. The following methods for the tank and surface existing for the leak and confirmed with the putting on the water tank, water from the bottom of the tank. A steady loss of water will identify the leak. A vacuum box a tester can be used in soap solution to identify the leak. A clay dam can be formed for around the outside of the bottom of the edge of the tank. The tank is filled with about six inches of water. Slightly area pressure is applied under the tank and the air bubbles rising for the water will identify any leaks in the tank. Internal drain line inspections. Internal drain lines or sorry, internal drain line inspections. Internal drain line flo uh, floating roof tanks and she'll be Carefully inspected for corrosion to damage and internal blockage movable joints and should be operatable operate freely and sealed packages of the joints should be inspected and lubricated respect replaced and necessary. Stop chains and guidelines for forcing should be in place and get it conditions to internal accessory. Internal accessories such as pumps and floating sections and gauges should be there uh, thoroughly Clean inspection overhauled and is required for the part. Internal inspection cathodic protection system can be can be examined, tested, and repaired as the type of thing as well. Near for her to Navy Flag 306 and specific information. 
535 product sampling in addition to routine inspection we representing samples testing of the products bottoms of the tank and perform the particular content of these samples either the taken downstream for the tank and prior to the filterization in accordance with the ASTM method D270 sampling petroleum petroleum products will indicate necessity of inspection or, in, or cleaning tanks the maximum intervals between product sampling should be in the and operating tanks ready to an issue the aviation service 30 days active both the storage tanks the aviation fuel storage tank of 30 days inactive bolt storage tanks aviation fuels service 180 days after a new product has been put into the tank all other tanks of the petroleum fuels and lubricants frequently frequently required as particular product service and military handbook 200 quality surveillance handbook handbook of fuel lubricants and related product so in all cases and most frequently sampling may be required in operational consideration of the quality of all samples taken and shall be considered an indication of the condition of the storage of the tape 5.3.6 Repair of the tanks, 5.3.6.1, and repair the replacement of the criteria repair and replacement of the steel tanks is made by necessary to, by some form of damage to the tank. While the damage is result in the over pressure of the fire explosion, the foundation damage it usually is called by a loss of metal in steel tanks and corrosion. The two principal factors in analyzing the need for the tank repair replacement and due to the corrosion of the air are relate rate of the metal in maximum accessibility amount of the metal lost to LPG tank when they are an unfired pressure vessel. For unfired pressure vessel and such as all inspection repairs replating, relating to there to and failing from the co cognizance of Navy flag MO 324 or inspection certification boilers unfired pressure vessels leave relate to the loss of a particular tank can be detected keeping comparison records of medical thickness measurement for two or more consecutive inspection repairing thicknesses over two future, in future time and projected the amount of the accessible metal loss for the ports of the tank is easy to determine from above ground tank of the roof plates and refer to the acceptable so long as it's safe to walk and on them keep them out the weather out the point is to become unsafe and largely a matter of judgment and should be in determined evaluation by public works and structural engineering. It should be a well before any one of the actual steps through in place before the roof collapses under the, any snow load. The bottom plates and properly supported on, uh, on the foundation need only to resist internal liquid pressure as long as there are no leaks and they are acceptable. However, it is necessary to determine whether the bottom will last until the next inspection, which make four or five years away in which particular life in the place is less than time until the next inspection the early replacement should be considered the minimum allowable allowable thickness in tank shells is more compl complicated than it is in his bottom determine the height, heat, heat, height and determine the tank allowable stress in the steel used in construction of the type of the joint minimum design thickness in the newer welded tanks and included the api 650 and older welded and riveted tanks no longer applicable to api codes that go engineering judgment shall be applied to the maintenance of these tanks as long as the remain in service once and the tank clean and vapor freed and damaged areas of the tank abrasive and blasted and the hand clean and the bare and metal and high and cold and repairs is necessary 5362 bottom replacement replacement of the tank bottom is most commonly required in major repair of the storage tanks and bare forward of the method of bottom replacement of this large storage tank is to cut an existing bottom center in the slope of new bottom bound more toward the sump and located in the other center of the column because if any of the more must be adjusted for the bottom. No new bottom of elevation 531 illustrates it should, should it illustrates the method. It should be emphasized by all welding and petroleum fuel facilities should be accomplished by the certified welder and requirements outlined by the API standard 11104 if welding pipelines related to facilities. But before beyond therefore built on a place drill a hole and tested the area below the part and bustable do not sorry, um we're moving on. Um, I'm gonna pause it. Here you see is a tank bottom replacement with a cone down and bottom part. In detail A is raised from the berm of the slope to meet the old grade at the tank shell and continuous welds are in um they are cut out on the removal of the old bottom as necessary between the drill through the first and the test of the combustible vapor. Um continuous welds inside and outside the tank shell. The bottom angle is uh you'll see a little right right angle degree. Insert a new plate and raise. Insert a new plate and slot cut out of the all around just above the bottom angle. And through the lapping, you'll see a lapping done at new one and a quarter inch bolts and plates and uh, one point twenty degrees, well one to twenty ratios of the slope and a uniform sand fill under the bottom of the tank. 
At the lap point, plates are shown to avoid the pockets of a welding degree with a fillet of the 316 and um, on both sides of the type. Uh, on the bottom, you'll see the tank bottom replacement procedure. Cut out the tank shell and progressively adjust above the bottom angle in the 10 foot to 12 foot incre increments. Ensure that the bottom plate's welded in the place of a backfill. See the detail A, and you'll see the shell plate. Um, it's kind of circular on the laps and the bottom plate method of preparing the lap weld both metal both plates under the tank shell and that is figure 3.1 tank bottom replacement cone bottom perform any hot work under the combustible vapor indicating shows the vapor concentration to be below 4% of the LEE or sorry the LEL repeat, um, repeat, repeat precaution in each net new area to be cut Lay concrete over the existing steel bottom is not recommended to substitute the replacement of the major repair of the bottom. The 5.3.6.3 rivets and seams leaking, rivets and seams on the exterior riveted tanks are consistent sources of problems. Back welding and welding half pipes over the t row of the rivets can be used in some success. Um, however, but they are very expensive repair methods. Epoxy, epoxy repair putties and similar materials can be used. 5.3.7 interior exterior coatings coating coatings are used in both interior exterior walls or storage walls to prevent corrosion of the walls due to the bottom of the wa water bottom water and or soil contact the MO307 corrosion control when published it will provide extensive extensive detail on the types of used in protective coatings two of the most common types commonly used interior coatings are the uh, urethane system fiberglass reinforced plastic FRP's light lining system the urethane systems defect Detailed in Navy Pack NFGS 09872 interior coatings of the welding steel tanks with the petroleum field stale storage employs the multi layered polyurethane coating of the tank interior. The system should not be used in severe corrosions, reducing the tank metal thickness to less than one eighth of an inch, whether there are numerous holes all the way through the steel plate. In these cases, the FRP, the fiberglass reinforced plastic lining systems, see Navy Pack NFG 13666. Sorry, well, sorry. Um, the fiber reinforced plastic lining system. See Navy Fact NFGS 13661. Fiberglass reinforced plastic lining system for the bottom of steel tanks and for the petroleum fuel storage should be used. 5.3.8 tank, tank fittings. 5.3.81 vents. The storage tanks must be equipped with the vents to permit the passage of air and vapor into the or out of the tank in order to prevent excessive pressures of the vacuum buildup. The vents must be carefied in size and the operating conditions of, e of each tank. An AIP RP 2000 guidance of venting atmospheric and low pressure storage tanks providing recommended, recommended safe for vented cap capacities. The two principal vents of the atmospheric storage are open vents and pressure vacuum vents also called by breath valves. Open vents consist of nothing but more than weather and hooded birth bird screens to protect the free opening into the tank as long as the vent is properly sized and pumping rate into the outing, outing tank. The only required maintenance to ensure is that the opening is a clear of obstruction of net bird nests, inspect insects, nests, and th trash. Open vents should be also equipped with flame snuffers which should bear, no, normally be often to free operate open vents normally used to fix roof tanks containing diesel fuel burner fuels kerosene jp5 yet fuel and lubrication oil pressure, pressure vacuum are complicated because of they are containing more mo mo more moving parts of the can, can malfunction in the figure 5.3.2 they show a cross section of typical pressure vacuum vent there are many variations detail and construction must have the same basic elements the flow of vapor air of the vapor in or out of the tank control the valve light consistent with the of a pallet and seat and one controls the flow of the tank and pressure other than the controls of the flow and the volume the amount of the pressure vacuum required to open the close of the valve is determined the weight in the pallet it is in the area the weight that can be adjusted in order to change the tank operating pressure the serious problem such as a complete collapse of the tank can occur and the vent fails to for opening it as it would should in a vent in small pressure such as one one ounce to two per square inch over the large area of the tank roof or shell shall be to can be destructive. The objective of the maintenance procedure for the pressure of the vacuum vents is to become is to make sure the appropriately real break, break, breath or breather valves originally designated for the vapor conversion conservation device. However, they are no longer important for the purpose of the view of the increased usage of floating roof tanks such for volatile fuels like gasoline and JP4 jet fuel. Specific maintenance procedure and Follows removed for the covers for the inspection of the pallets over the p operate the hand to see that they are openly free. Be sure the weights are correct for the t intended tank operating pressure. Um, clean lubricates the stems and guides. In, in freezing weather, check frequently to see that the pallets are not in.
frozen shut and re grinding the pallets to seat the corroded or worn used fire ground. Or sorry, re re grind the pellets, seat the corroded or worn fine grind compound light con consolidation motion. Um, replace deterioration sealed warp pellets and broken material or broken parts. Remove birds and insect nests. Five three eight two flame arrestor, arrestors. Flame arrestors designed to prevent external flame from the internal fuel tank through the venting up opening. The device insert itself is a bank and, and is a finely. Uh, is the device itself is a bank of finely. Finely, um, space and core edge of the middle places divide to cool and any flame attempting to enter the vent. Here you see a pressure vacuum vent cross section. Um, I'm going to zoom out of this for a second. You see one, the body, uh, one, the body right here, two, the seating, three, the vacuum, guidepost. Four vacuum guide post. Five the screen. Um, there's there's another five of the screen. Six where are you? Um, six is a vacuum covered gasket right here. Seven is a vacuum cover. Eight is the hood of of the pressure vacuum cross section. Um, flange gasket number nine, right up here, a flange gasket, ten the stud, eleven, pressure valve pallet, that's what we're talking about, twelve, the guide, and there's a little pipe, thirteen, the vacuum, pallet, yeah, and fourteen, on the stem. I'm going to re increase this to 100%. So, should we go actual size? Or zoom to page level? Well, no, that didn't work. Fit to width. Space and corrugated metal widths that provide the coolant. Any frame attempting to enter the vent, the flame arrestor, are installed under the vents and elevate. All the vo volatate the fuel gasoline of JP4 and jet fuel storage tanks except for floating roof tanks and tanks equipped with the their vents. They should be installed over under the open vents and tanks for storage storing product at the flash points on an, uh, of less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Tanks are spaced closer than COM, Navy, FAC, S Navy face, and GCOM. Spacing standards require reference to military handbook 1022. Petroleum um, fuel facilities flame arrest maintenance is important. To because of the flame arrestor significantly reduce events capacity of a tank, although it is prone to clo clogging in the dirt and frozen motion moisture, the maintenance of the flame and re arrestors require the removing of the co cover, the pulling of the arrestor bank, removing any of the dirt, corrosion, ice, liquid, insect nests, and trash, and etc. that might block the venting above. This is important to check the aim of arrestors of freezing, especially during the early part of the freezing weather. 5.3.8 or five, sorry, 538.3 water draw off systems. Water draw off valve systems are used in drain bottom water under the, uh, out of the storage tanks to provide product contamination damage, ain't damage to the corrosion. Typically, is done but through the use of the non freezing valves shown in the figure 5333. I've seen in the figure non freezing valve consistent of an inner valve and outer valve with both valves are open water and fuel and can be drained for the inside of the tank. Whether the inner valve is closed and outer valve is can be open the water and oil outside of the inner valve can be drained out is future features the prevents and freezing other valves bodies shall always be drained and closed for each use the main objective maintenance work is to be used in valve in its packing if any do not leak this valve packing working freely that the valve is made in pack with or different water draw off valves shall be removed from the tank inspected and repaired whenever the tank is out of service some valves are made out of the valve and can be removed for the inspection of the repair while the tank is in service water draw off system show is in existing underground tanks are usually employ low capacity some pump water withdrawal bottom water these are usually vertical turbine that they are some older than actually the entire pump the more the motor and all located at the bottom of all wells or extend through the tank and the top of the bottom maintenance procedure for the sump pump is the same as the other pump described in section five six five three eight four swing lines and floating sections present in navy policy coal all is in replacement for the swing lines and floating sections uh sections um bottom sumps are also used to remove the fuel from the tank and circulate and through the filter separator too uh 
remove contaminates as the swing line floating suction still is and however must be maintained properly. Here is a non-freezing water draw-off draw -off line. Or sorry, non-freezing water draw-off valve. Over here on one you see the hand wheel, two you see the outer valve shell, shaft, three you see the cap, four you see the body, five you see the tapper pin, six you see the outer valve, seven you see the disc, eight you see the outer, eight you see the outer valve seating ring, nine you see the inner shaft, ten you see the torque pin, eleven you see the inner valve body. 12 you see the spring, 13 you see the inner valve seat guide, and 14 you see the inner valve. Now that is a fi figure 533 non-freezing water draw valve. And here's the water drain pipe from the sump and the adapter of the tank shell on the outlet. Main and I read the top line so we'll move on to the next paragraph. Maintenance of these involves ensuring that the joints may move freely cable floats and operating mechanisms in good working order whether the tank has been emptied and cleaned and swing lines and floating functions and be inspected and lubricated or repaired. 5385 heating coils, many petroleum storage tanks and heavy oil fuel lubricating or fuel oil services are equipped to the heating coils, heaters to warm fuel and transfer operation. Typically the heaters are steel or steam fuel steam fuel the main properly accused but uh, the main uh, problem associated with the heater's internal corrosion of the coils due to the presence of consolidated heater coils of tubes, depending on the type of heater of the use and the corrosion can lead to the oil heating system with water into the fuel in either whether it is, is un undesirable. Avoided steam quench coils sh should be con shut off at the tank connections both inlet and outlet when not in use and inactive coils should be plugged and removed the, from the tank and new coils should be sloped, sloped and to ensure complete drainage of the consolidated. The flow of the steam coils should be controlled by any automatic temperature regulating, preventing over fuel in the tank. The action of regulation view valve shall be observed and checked under the thermometer to be sure that it controls the, temp the tank temperature within a safe range, usually not over 150 degrees for nine number six burner fuel oil. 5386 fuel level control. Petroleum storage tanks are equipped with the automatic devices to monitor and control fuel level within the tank. These devices include gouging devices provided by the local remote reading of the tank pump. Typical of these gauges are float similar devices display the tank volume visible at eye level ground immediately under the tank. Gauges for a remote reading system are used in much less frequently required to the signal transmitter of my multi processors high level arms to ensure the tank is not overfilled typically two two alarms are used one alarm will set off the audible alarm signal to the tank filing si si station within the petroleum levels reaching 95 percent of the tank capacity second alarm set to set to actuate at 98 percent of the tanking capacity which will set up both an audible and visual alarms always and shut down in the product supply as in policy pumps low level arms to shut down the pump shut down the product transfer pumps and which may take the taking suction up from the tank Maintenance with a device consisting of ensuring accurate uh, calibration of the gauges and alarming setting signal transmitters other than control shall be properly working. One three four, nine, or sorry, five three nine floating roofs and panels. Five three nine one floaters and panels. Uh, uh, sorry, floaters and pans opening the float roof tank and uh, subjecting accumulation of rain snow and on the roof and the rain snow is allowed to build in too too much and the weight can cause the roof to sink open top of the rain. Floaters must be checked and regular accumulated water snow should be removed during the no and or after each storm to drain water from the floating roof various hoses flexible pipe configurations can be used the water can be allowed to drain correctly drawn down through the store product and removed from the pump to the top bottom of the sump and drown off valve valve snow and ice and re removal of in some trouble spots with laborious and must be done in the storms otherwise the roof may sink the shelves may some t some open as the tanks of snow control have been fitted and bolted doors and various levels of the facility and snow re removals otherwise snow has been hoisted over the top of the shell regardless of the height of the roof whether the either snow or the re accumulation serious properly problems installation whether the cover should in consideration five three nine two th rim seals Major repairs of the floating roof of the rims and not involving hot work are accomplished within the tank service because of the potential dangerous accumulation vapors of the roof during the repair work and such procedures is not recommended except for the extreme emergency if much safer if it is much safer for vapor free for the tank before undertaking major repairs for the seals. And five four filters fit five four filters filter separators and relaxation chambers.